Good evening, everyone. I'm Tony Embry, and I'm coming to you live from my studio, the Riverview Creative Studio in uh, Newburgh, North Carolina. And thank you for joy to be, um, if you're going to tune in. Uh, tonight is uh, usually, uh, I, this is the first tips and tricks um, video that, I've, that I'm doing. So uh, it's Tuesday night, 7 o'clock. So I'm excited to um, be doing that tonight. So the, I'm going to be uh, doing this technique called uh, bokeh. And um, it's a Japanese word. And it's the effect of an out of focus, like a photograph, it's out of focus. And so you get those little circles of light. And uh, so anyway, that's kind of um, the technique. And it looks really, uh, it looks really cool, and so I learned about the technique um, from, uh, I followed it from uh, Rachel Tessman, and um, so she has uh, a technique uh, sheet out. I think I spelled it wrong. It's B-O-K-E-H, and I think I spelled it wrong, but anyway, um, so she has, a, I found it on one of her things back from 2015, and so I was playing around with it, and I really like it, so I thought, hi, Lori. And so I thought, well, I will um, do that tonight. So I did, uh, this is the very first card that I created. And um, so I, uh, when you do this technique, it needs to dry a little bit. So I don't um, put the cards together. So tonight I'm just going to do, uh, with you guys, I'm just going to do uh, the fronts. And I won't actually build cards, but uh, because it needs to dry. And, uh, and I can use the heat um, tool to dry them, but it's just too noisy. So anyway, so I put these together. They've dried completely, so I put these together. So you can see, uh, you start out with um, bringing, picking your colors and um, and and using uh, some sponge. You sponge on the colors, and then uh, and then after you do that, then uh, there's you could do the circles. And I have made a couple templates with. You can use um, vellum, but this is a the plastic. Uh, sheets and so I use the circles and and cut these out and so it's hard to see them um, But anyway, so that's that so I've had that one and then I made another template um, earlier uh, So it just you could put it over the card anyway, so that's this one and this is all the end colors This one has the end colors in it. So it has um, the uh, Shoot I has the magenta madness the uh, Cinnamon Cider and the Bumblebee are all in here. And then the Misty Moonlight is part of this that's stamped in. So anyway, so I'll, I'm going to take you through it. It's going to be fun. So this is one card. And then um, I'll move this out of the way. I did, I did three other ones today. Um, just because I like to be able to show you different um, varieties. Uh, so this one is done with other colors. But you can see the how beautiful the colors are. This one has terracotta tile in it and some other other colors, but that was I love that one. And then this one is my real favorite because purple is my favorite color. And uh, so this one uh, is just so, so pretty, I think. So I've, I made up for birthday cards. So here's a little part of my ribbon left over. Okay. And then last is this one, which the yellow. It's really pretty. And this says Coastal Cabana. In it, so that's and the and the yellow looks that's staffado yellow, I think there. So uh, anyway, so these are the four. So I'm going to do this technique with you guys tonight, and um, I hope you will enjoy it. So I'm going to put these away for now, and I picked out three. We're going to do three. We're going to do three cards with you, and um, the other thing is I have a bowl of water, and I don't know about you guys, I like using uh, these little uh, sponges for some things, and then. Uh, I have these little sponges, but I think uh, for me, if I, if I dampen these, uh, they kind of work better. So I have a bowl of water and everything just in case I need it. So I have a bunch of white cardstock. And so I'm using elements tonight from the Forever Fern set and from the Lovely You set. I love all of these uh, pieces here. So uh, I'll be using those at these two sets. So. Okay, so I have three different uh, colors. So I have three different color sets. So I have the pair of pizzazz, 
the Highland Heather and the Gorgeous Grape, and that's gonna be one set. And then I have uh, Misty Moonlight, Just Jade, and we're gonna add Bumblebee to that one. And then, uh, then I have Bumblebee and Cinnamon Cider and Magenta Madness, and we're gonna do those three. So we're gonna do three different things. So we'll start out with the purple. And uh, so, let's see, I'll get, I'll just try to use these little cheese pieces as I call them. Uh, so we'll do, so the way that I do it is just stamp it here. And so this is gonna be, for some reason it's backwards, I'll have to flip it, I don't know why. I have never, I never know why it does that. I must have done something weird tonight with it. I must have done something weird. Oh, there it goes. I flipped it back. Okay. Now it's on the right side. Anyway, so... Hope you're still there, Lori. So this one has got a little bit of water in it. So maybe I won't use that. Let's see, I'll do this side. Okay, so I'm going to use... I need to do some dry these off a little more before I use them because they seem to be too wet for the paper. Let's see. I haven't done it with it, with it being wet, so that might be a problem. Let's see. Anyway, I don't really like the way uh, this cheese stuff does, so I'm going to use my regular, uh, my regular little circular dots. These ones work better for me anyway. So anyway, so what you do is you apply the color however you want in whatever kind of um, order or, you know, if you want to do it in a pattern. You don't want to do straight lines. You want to make it mix up a little. So you don't really want it to be like in a straight line. And then, uh, so we'll do that one. And then uh, we'll put some greed on. I like the greed color. So I don't know about you guys, but I wash by, I wash these, uh, and not all the color will come out, but a lot of the color will come out. So, uh, because it's kind of weird, I can't have one for each color. I'd have to label them and do all sorts of weird things. So I don't do that, but anyway. So this is, it kind of looks kind of weird, but this is what happens. It's what the background looks like. So you could overlap it sub if you want. Um, you know, it's your card, so it's your business. You could do it however you want. So that's that one. It, it's kind of interesting how it changes because it does um, it does change uh, when you're when you do all the other stuff to it. It looks a lot different. Okay, so we have this. This is the dark purple. So a little dark goes a long ways, I think. There we go. So purple, dark purple. I'm going to add a little bit more over here. Here, here. Over here. It's kind of a fun. Okay, so that I'll stop that one for now. And then let's see what am I gonna do? I'll do the leaves at a different color, maybe. Maybe I'll do the leaves at a dark, dark color. I'll do the leaves of this color. That'll be cool. So I'll bring it a fourth color in now, and I'll do a darker color in here. So I'm going to get me a couple blocks, and we'll do the we'll do this one first. I like I really like this particular one, so we'll do this one first. Stamp it. Stamp it. I kind of like doing it in this direction, but you could do it, uh, you know, you could do it in any any way you want. Uh, so you could, depending on how you want to do the, um, how you want to do it, if you want to do landscape or, or whatever. But anyway, we're just doing the technique. So it's kind of, it's kind of funky. So I'm going to put this one, so that's that one. And then I'll do, maybe I'll do, try this one. Let's try to do a different thing. Let's do the flower. Let's see if the flower will show up. And uh, darker. Let's see if it'll show up. I don't know if I've got anybody on here, but if not, 
it's okay. I'm doing it by myself. So that uh, these flowers, add these flowers in. Just kind of add something to the design to add some flowers. Here, that's good. That looks pretty. I'll let that dry for a minute. And then we'll bring the white in. So I ordered another white because when you're doing the white, uh, you are you could transfer some color um, onto this from the from here. So I ordered a new white one because I I like doing this technique. I think it's going to be something I'm going to do for a while. So I'm going to to uh, get another white one. So what you could do, you could tape this down. But when I did that, I kind of tore that. So what I do is I'll put this on here. Like so, put this out here like this, and then I'm gonna tape this down a little bit with some uh, some washi tape, just to hold this in place because it will move a little bit. So then I'll hold the, this down with a card. So anyway, for me, I like you could uh, you could do um, you could. You could make it really dark or you could make it light. And so I kind of like a combination of that. So you stamp off a little bit and then rub it. But you want you really want it to, uh, you really want to be able to see the circle. So you have to put enough on to see the circle. But, uh, you know, you could go back and um, make it harder, or make it uh, darker if you want. But you can't take it off. So it's better to start out uh, and do it kind of, uh, light and then you could go back and add more if you want so anyway that's kind of the way you do it you just kind of uh, take the white and then kind of rub it over it like that and you could do it in a circular motion and if you want to see how it, how it is you can lift it up and look at it uh, but uh, anyway so this is kind of and you just keep adding them you know you could move the template and add more uh, you know, wherever you want. You could, and then once it dries, you could actually add more on top. You could do it more after it dries, uh, if that if that's what you, if that's your thing and that's what you like. So it's kind of fun uh, to do, I think. It's just that totally different look. And it really, uh, for me, it just makes the cards, it just gives another whole look to the cards. I love the way the, the cards look. So I thought, well, for my technique, my first Technique Tuesday, I should do this one because it's fun. It, you know, it's your, you know, it's your imagination. You're already limited by your imagination. So, you know, you could just use whatever you want. So I'm going to do these a little bit heavier, and then I'll go back and do some that aren't so heavy. Oh, here's one here. Oh. <coughs> Get it back in place. Do this one here. It's really a interesting technique. So I hope you'll give it a shot. Try it and see what you think. Okay, so let me pick this up. And we'll look at it and see how it looks. So this is the first one. Kind of cool, huh? Kind of looks like, you know, like if there was a movie sometime that had, oh, almost like The Wizard of Oz. And that's uh, the witch, good Glenda the Good Witch coveted her ball of light. Anyway, uh, so that's that, but then I could add some other ones. So I have another little template. This is my first template that I made. So I think I'm going to use this one now and I'll hold it and I'll do, I'll do some more on this one. I really like this. Love the purple. The purple just looks really good. So it's really up to you what you, you know, how you want to do it. But I, I've just been playing with it. I like. I like how it, you could make it really, really soft, or you could make it uh, the the circles show up a lot more. It's just a personal preference, I think, of what you like. And anyway, so these uh, these are what I used was the circle 
the layer circle Frayblet dies. And so then I took the plastic and then I put this on the die cutter. And so these are the woods I used. And um, so you could just do different sizes that you want. Um, and Rachel did, uh, made a, used them in doing um, scrapbooking. Actually, she did a scrapbooking page for something. So that's what, that's what she did it with. Anyway, so that's this wood. And I think, I'm, oh, I was gonna do something different. Okay, so the other thing you could do, which is kind of fun, is you could, um, see this? You could just uh, twist it and it'll make another round. See, you could just twist it and it'll make a little round. A little round one and then you could go actually go into one of your previous circles and twist it see you could see it, it twist it you make another circle you could keep playing with it if you want <clears throat> so <clears throat> and then you can let it dry you could come back and add some more on top of it if you want but it's just kind of isn't it kind of interesting to me it's kind of interesting oh anyway so enough of this one i'll let this one dry and we'll do something different Oh, usually I put the, uh, so I'll do the next one differently because what I've done before is the bubble so they stamped all the flowers last. So this one I changed, I did a little differently. So that's fun, that, that's that. Okay, so let's do another one. Let's do, let's do these colors, these in colors. Pretty, we'll start with pink. <clears throat> start with the pink. I'll make sure you can see this. Let me move this over. Make sure you can see what I'm doing. Move this over. Yeah, you can see. This would. We'll do some pink. It's a really bright color, isn't it? And you could play with it more so it doesn't look like it's... Um, the little circle things, but I kind of like the little circle things, so it doesn't really bother me. But you could, if you use the little cheese pieces, as I call them, that, uh, you know, it'll, it gives a different look. Okay, so there's that. That's the peak. And then, let's do some yellow. Do some yellow, see how the yellow looks. Cool. So you could do like anything, really. More yellow up here. Then I'll come and run the brown into it. Okay, so that's the yellow. That's the bubble bee. And then we'll do the sediment on it. See the set of it up here. Let's see how it go. That's the set of it. The set of it. I love that color. The set of a color is just really, really pretty. And it kind of looks really funky right now, but it's amazing how much it changes when you start put the other elements on, and then when you put uh, everything back, it just looks so different. Okay, so we will we will do the white now, and then we'll go back and stamp everything else later. Okay, so here's the white. So we'll put this on again. Like this. Okay. We give a little white thingy. And we'll start doing it again. So here's this. And this one I'm gonna to try to do a little bit lighter. Let's see how it looks. So you can see I've got a little bit of peak on here now oh, from rubbing it. But you know, the ink, uh, the ink stays on so you really don't, here we go. You don't really have to, that's the hard part, hold it onto the card. Okay. Because I'd probably get hard. There's that, and then this one. So it's kind of, it's kind of light. I want the colors to show through a little bit. I'll just put a little bit of this on. 
I want the colors to show through a little bit because I think it looks kind of funky. And then some you could you go back and do, so they're mostly white, so you can't really. They, these ones that are lighter, they look like they're farther away, perhaps. And then uh, the other ones are close up. Let's pull this one off. <clears throat> Turn it around this way and just play again. that one. Let's do this. This way. Okay, I'll do it like this. Let's see how it works this time. This one's I'll do a little bit darker. Let's see what happens. Then it should give you some more depth, I think. I'll do these a little darker. Sorry, my hand's in the way. If my hand's in the way. I'm trying to hold the paper down. Because when you tape, when you actually tape the paper, sometimes it'll pull the color off of it. So I'm trying not to do that. Anyway, this one should be different, look different because it's, uh, because I'm, I'm baking it thicker, the paint thicker. And it should, so it should look a little different compared to what's already there, which will be kind of funky, I think. Okay, so let's see how it looks now. It's all experimenty. What do you think? Do you like the way it looks? I kind of like the way it looks. And then when it dries, it looks even a little different. So, so now we will uh, cover up the white, and then we'll put our come on, we'll put our leaves and stuff on. Okay, so we're gonna do some pink. We're gonna do some pink, and we're gonna do some brown flowers. So we'll do these in brown first. The card. Pretty cool. I just love the effect of it. Oops, and then we'll do another one. It looks like it's further in the background. some pink flowers on top of that peak. You see that? Oh, so beautiful. I just think that's very, very cool. <laughs> trying to get me. It was trying to come after me. I don't know what the problem was there. <clears throat> okay, so I think that's enough of those colors. I don't think I should put any, I don't think I should put a third color on there. Right, so that's those. And then we're going to use this one to that one. So, does that look cool? Look at that. To me, that's just so fun. Anyway, it has to dry though really good before you could do too much else with it. And you could, you know, you could like, here's the purple one again. You know, you could play with the polka dots. You don't have to have as many as that. When you look at, uh, like, these other ones, uh, see, these are a lot uh, softer. And so you could just play with them and do different, you know, whatever suits your fan fancy. So, like, this one's very subtle. Uh, so I was playing with uh, the different ones and see what I liked. And then this one is more... Uh, you know, it's a little heavier handed, but you can see when it dries. Notice how the colors come through a little more when it dries. So, like, you could still see the colors behind it, but you won't see that until the cards dry. Um, so that's why I said I wouldn't mount them until until after <clears throat> until after you do them. But because it takes a little while uh, to dry, you know, you want to let it set for a while. It's a lot of color. Okay, so this one we're going to. Do, so I'm gonna start with the blue. Oh. So this one is, uh, this is the in the end colors, this is called Misty Moonlight. And uh, so let's see, we'll do blue. See how this goes. 
And you could start like in the corner, uh, you know, off the page and come on to it. Um, you know, or you could just do what I'm doing, which is kind of random. Oh, it's just, I don't know. It's just, it's just really fun. Fun, 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 fun. And so you, I encourage you to play with it and see what you could, uh, see what you could create with it. But it's, uh, it's fun. Okay, so there's the blue. <clears throat> and let's put some greed on. Some jade greed, which is a beautiful color. Let's put this on. How that's going to be. We'll start over here. Because the greed and blue together are so pretty. These colors, these two colors are are just quite they're different than uh, some other things. And at, at the beginning, uh, the, pink, uh, the magenta madness kind of made me crazy. Uh, I just couldn't imagine using it. And now... Uh, you know, I've, I've learned to tone it down by uh, mixing it with other colors, which, uh, you know, it it it's it's it looks good. I, I really like it. It uh, I just have to mix it with other with other uh, colors that'll tone it down a little bit. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna do the we're gonna do the bubble bee. Let's see how that see how that looks here. I love the bubble bee. Uh, the yellow, I don't know, it just really, uh, any little bit, little bits of yellow on a card just really adds a lot. It'll draw your eye to it. And then, you know, you could still put the color in uh, other places. You could still add it in over top of the other color. So it just kind of, you know, it looks like a storm cloud almost really, huh? So it just adds a little bit of uh, interest to it when you just add it all to certain areas of it of the card uh you get okay so i think that's enough of that so then we'll put the polka dots on so this time i'm going to use the little one and i will try to do it a little more subtle let's see what i do i don't know subtlety is not really my thing i'll try it I want to make sure this is up here so you guys can see it, though. That's what's important. Okay, so I'm sure I have a little bit left on here, so I'm going to try to do this so you can still see it with in the camera, even though my head's over it because I, want to I don't want to lose the paper. Okay, so there's just three of these. So I made the bigger, um, the bigger one because I thought you know, I could put it over the whole card, but I kind of like it. I kind of like using the little one. And you could make, make them individual. You know, you could make them, do them individually so that they would, uh, you know, you could have more options of how you do it. Or you could, well, you could make some smaller ones, but the circles, I've, I've got the smallest one, but, you know, you could find something else in another set that's uh, smaller, if you could find it. But I just, I have, I've just been using what I have here, so I haven't been uh, trying to find anything smaller because I just use the little, the round here to, to make the extra circles. Okay, so do a little bit here. And then we'll do something here. A little bit lighter. This is so fun. I'm so glad you guys are joining me on my Tuesday tips. Even if you're watching it afterwards, I hope you'll enjoy it. I know a lot of people do Tuesday night tips, so there's probably a competition for watching other things, which is completely, I can understand. I, I really have been holding off doing a Tuesday because I thought, you know, I, I wasn't really ready to do three videos a week, so I thought I better just go ahead and just give it a whirl. So that's what I'm doing. Jump again, doing it. I'll probably not do them all live all the time, but right now I'm doing them live. And my husband was uh, hanging some new lights in my studio today, so it's kind of, he's got to do a few more, but more lights, I'll have a little bit more light here when I work in the middle of the night, like I most of the time work in the middle of the night. Okay, so that's this one. So this one's a lot softer than the other one. 
Um, so I might, let's see, I might do, let's do one of these. I kind of like that. But these, see, this little ones, I kind of like to do a couple little ones. And I'm not, you notice I'm not putting any more ink on my, on here, and it's, there's plenty. White goes a long ways. I think that's enough. But I really like it. So yeah, my white is very juicy. Um, so I, I believe it, it set out. I didn't know, I didn't know anything about putting ink on a, a pad. You get the white, I don't know if you know, when you get the pad, you get the ink separately, so you have to put it in. And I didn't know, and I put it on, and I, I didn't know what to do with it. And so then someone told me, um, weeks after I did it, I'm like, I can't get it to work, to use the spoon and push it in. And then after that, then I was like, oh, because I really like doing white, uh, white lettering and stuff, but it was just not turning out very well. So anyway, now it's still okay, but I ordered a brand new one because the, uh, because of the juiciness of it. Okay. So let's do this one. I really like, let's do this one. Ooh. This one here that kind of looks like the bunny, the money plant thingy. I like this one. So let's do this one. Pretty, pretty, pretty. This is what I did all the purple wood as well. Give that all three. And I'll do something else because I don't want to do everything the same. And then let's see, we'll do this one. This one right here. We'll do that in a different color. Let's do that in. What color was that? Was that blue? That was blue, huh? Okay, let's do some yellow. These leaves in yellow. See how they look. It's kind of nice because it's kind of uh, in the back. It looks like it's more in the background because it's there. So that's that. I'll put the yellow away. Then we'll do what? Yellow, blue. Oh, the jade. Yeah, so we'll do the jade. That'll be nice. We'll do the jade. This one, maybe. That's kind of big. We'll try it anyway. We just won't do as many of them. Where's the Jade? JD, where'd you go? I know it's here somewhere. Dang, got it. Oh, duh, I took it out already. Okay, so here's some Jade. Maybe that's Jade, I bet that's Jade. That's Jade. Let's see. Yep. That's Jade. Okay, so now I've got to use the blue. Because I didn't do blue before. Okay, here's Jade. Or maybe that is blue. I don't know. You know, I should really write notes what I'm doing with this because that would be a whole lot better. More better. You more better. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one again because I can't. Is that Jade? Nope. Put some of these over here. Yeah, I like this. I like this one. Do one more over here. Good, so that's a busy one, but it'll be pretty when it's dry. It'll, it'll be amazing how much it comes up when you dry it. It's just the drying always does. Uh, something different. Okay, so let me uh, go back over this again and show you all the ones that we've done. And uh, I'm not, like I said earlier, so here's this one. So I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to put these on because if you could, they're still kind of wet and uh, it's really noisy to try to dry them. But uh, it's kind of pretty, huh? There's that one. And then we did this one with the peak. See, this one started to dry, so you could see how some of the colors are. You still could see the colors coming through. Um, so it does look a little different when it's dry, but uh, I don't know. That's just to be, that's just so, so, so pretty. So there's that. And then this one is heavier, definitely heavier. So you could see that these circles are more defined, uh, but it still, to me, looks like, uh, a moon, like moonlight, you know, like 
uh, just, I don't know, it lo definitely looks like more nighttime and you can see light that's shining on some of the leaves and uh, I don't know, it's just, to me, it's just magical looking. If we just had like little fairies that we could stamp in here, uh, that's, to me, that's really pretty. So now I'll show you, these are the ones that I showed you in the beginning. So these are ones that I've done previously. This was my very first card I ever did at this technique. And uh, I've got it on the cinnamon paper. It's just beautiful. And so then I added a little bling to it. I added these cards, uh, happy birthday, because they look like a happy birthday card to me. Definitely something you want to cheer people up with. But still, this one is my favorite still. And it's very similar to that one uh, because the le the uh, circles will get more defined when it's dried. But uh, anyways, this is purple. So that's another one. And then this one, Coastal Cabana. And so this one has a little bit of yellow and green and in it. And so uh, it's a totally different. It's a much softer look for sure. And then this one has the terracotta in it. And uh, I think balm, Balmy Blue, I think, is it there as well. But uh, anyway, so that's, that's another one. So I hope you guys will try this technique. And I uh, thank you for joining me. And tomorrow is uh, Wind Down Wednesday. So hopefully you can join me for that. I have a cool project um, planned for that one. And you guys have a great evening and the rest of your week. God bless, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.